Well, Kenichi Ogawa, welcome to Wales. Uh, first of all, just talk to me about uh, this new item of clothing, uh, this T-shirt. When did you get that and what was the idea behind this? <laughs> yeah, well, where is it? Kitagara. You know, I came to Wales and I'm in all the way. And you've had a little bit of time to settle in now. How are you finding your time in Wales so far and, and how have you found the adjustments? It, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. Um, nice people. Uh, we, we went to the castle uh, this morning and uh, very nice. And in terms of your preparation heading into this world title defence, defending that red and gold belt, has it changed anything in terms of how you've approached this fight and perhaps your own focus as well? Nothing special, but I, I trained to, to basically defend my belt and stay a champion. And uh, I'm confident with all my training and, and came very confidently into Cardiff. And what does motivate you at this stage of your career, Kenichi, when you think about what you're fighting for, who you're fighting for, every time you step in those ropes, what does motivate you at this stage? Uh, basically, family and the belt. Those two are everything to me. When you look at the rich history, I just want to get to know a little bit about you as well, the rich history of combat sports in Japan. When did combat sports for yourself, particularly boxing, become your passion and when did that dream begin to develop? Mm. As far as combative sports goes, I've been taught by my father since I was two. And that was in the amateurs, but basically I, I studied or uh, worked with Kempo for 20 years. And at the age of 22, I went to boxing and I've been in boxing for 12 years now. And when you think back to that night in New York and all the sacrifice you've made over those years, you could see the emotion on your face when you had your hand raised in that ring. What did that moment mean to you? Um, it's something that I can't describe with words, but in my lifetime, that was the, the best moment in my life. And when you think uh, back to the fight as well, it, it was a great fight with Azinga Vazile, a, a world-level fighter like yourself. Have you watched that fight back and, and what did you make of your performance that evening? <laughs> eh, okay. <laughs> do, you, do you still feel like there's a lot more for us to see then? And do you believe we'll see more this Saturday? Of course. Boxing can be a very selfish sport. Um, for you to take that belt home to your three boys, I just wonder how proud a moment that was for you as well. That, that is just everything. It, it, to bring the belt back to my kids, that was everything for me. Let's talk about this fight on Saturday then, it's an intriguing fight. You're in Cardiff, fighting a man from Cardiff. Why did coming over here to Joe Cordina's backyard not bother you? Um, the ring is the same, and I, I just have to be strong. And uh, if I perform well, I, I, I believe that um, Cardiff will become my home. Why does it excite you then uh, to be here and, and fighting in the UK? Because I know so many fighters internationally, they long for this moment to come over here and experience the atmosphere. Why, why does it excite Kenichi? Of course, to, to be able to fight here it is a, a exciting in itself. And to be able to defend the title is basically the motivation. Where would you say your self-belief and your confidence comes from when it, you know, you're accepting tough challenges like this? I, I don't consider this challenge a tough challenge. I, I, I don't mean to disrespect Cordina, but uh, for me, it's just another title defense. You say you don't want to respect Joe Cord uh, disrespect Joe Cordina, sorry, but what is it that, that makes you think this isn't a tough fight? Do you believe you've shared the ring with better fighters than Joe Cordina? Yeah. No, it's just, I'm just confident in myself. Talk to us about what you do know about Joe Cordina then. As a fighter, in terms of his skill set, what can you tell us about him? 
いやとても才能があって。Um, he has great ability,、uh, speed, and as far as a boxer, I think he's a good boxer. ものすごく高いと思ってます。In terms of this opportunity for Joe in his home city, it's massive, but it's his first world title shot. Do you think he'll be feeling the pressure at this stage? Do you think the pressure is on Joe Cordina? You know, as a、uh, first title challenge in his own town, I'm sure he's pressure. But being a world title fight, I think there is pressure for both of us. When you think back to the fight with Fazile, bearing in mind you had him down three times, the scorecards were still relatively close. Does that change anything about the way you feel you need to win this fight? Do you believe you have to leave no doubts?、Mm, well, you know, part of my strategy and my boxing style is basically to knock them down or knock them out. So、uh, there's also boxing, but th- that's basically. Part of my style, so I just need to win. When you truly do visualize the fight in your mind, though, do you believe you do win this fight inside the distance? Is that how you see it going when your head hits the pillow at night and you think about the fight? No, no, <laughs> no. No, no, I mean, I didn't get a translation on that. So, so what, what do you see then, Kenichi, when you do visualize this fight? Basically, go 12 rounds. And punch, punch each other. それだけ。Joe has said to me that there's no way he's letting you leave Cardiff with that belt. What are you willing to do to keep that belt, and what's your response to Joe Cordina? かかってきなさい。はい。かかってきなさい。Yeah. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> and do you have a, a message for the Welsh fans, Kenichi? You talked on it a little bit earlier that you think they'll be supporting you.、Um, are you ready to deal with whatever atmosphere they bring? Yes, I, I'm prepared、uh, for any type of environment, and、um, I want to give them a, a good performance, have them be entertained. And when you think about what could be next, all focus is on this Saturday, of course, but working with Matram, with Tekken, the zone as well, what do you believe a win might lead you to later this year?、Um, my thought is to unify the title. That's the, the number one thing that I'm thinking. You know, if, if I was able to unify the titles, it would be great for Japanese boxing and it would be the, the best moment in my life. What, what will you be happy with? What, just tell us in your own words how you think this fight unfolds and, and what you will be satisfied with. Win. Winning is everything. And do you have a final message for Joe Cordina just in terms of what he needs to be ready for? I want to fight as soon as possible. I can't wait. And、uh, let's get it on. Kanichi, thanks for your time. We look forward to it.